have one unheard message. Wondering why, why, why? No, you ain't shy, shy, shy. I'm gonna say bye, bye, bye. But I know I won't think twice. Better let go look your Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. So today we are only going to be discussing Taseki, Chastity, Nelly Chopper, and Blueface, of course, Scarlet, and we got some just hilarious. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes All right, so and we are entertainment gonna stuff. purposes only, okay? Okay. Taseki got a new song and video out on YouTube called Bad Bad Beach, okay? And we're going to get into some of the comments. I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about it. I actually kind of like the song. Um, She's doing her thing. The video was really cute. Um, But I think that she should be more singing, you know, more singing. I like when she raps and stuff. Her um, I Eats and everything else was really doing good and stuff like that. She's still doing her thing and making her music and stuff like that. But let's get straight into the comments. Somebody says, not filling it, tomatoes. She's given Timu version of Remy Ma laugh out loud. This person says, I love her, but I wasn't feeling it. Yes, but with more energy. So some people was like, okay, if she has a little bit more energy. And some people was like, um, mm-mm. This person says, this is dope, but I'm tired, tired of her always mentioning Marsh in that fight. Laugh out loud. We get it. You won. Okay. This person says, y'all ready to admit she's 100% better rapper than Krishan? I mean, I've been saying that, y'all, but mm-hmm. Somebody says, it's funny how y'all all keep saying Krishan makes better music than Taseki, but Krishan does not write her raps at all. She even admitted to not to writing her verses, and Krishan knew a song with Gloss Up Made No Noise. This person says, I want to hear more singing. That's the real draw to Taseki for me. She's a star with a unique singing sound. I agree. I like her singing. Um, y'all keep screaming she did music before rock. Okay, she has, but yet her music hasn't went anywhere. Like they say, give it up. Find another hobby, literally. Um, y'all already know there's a lot of people out here that is very talented, more than the people that we see out here, and they just don't get acknowledged. Like, stop. Um, better than her sister. So there's a lot of people saying that Taseki is better than Krishan. This person says she is very cocky. She thinks she that girl. That it girl and it shows in this song. It sucks. She wants the clout her sister has. I like a couple of her other songs she has. Why everybody think that just because she's the sister that she's looking for clout? Stop it. This person says she a clown. It's boring. Maybe just sing. No rap. If this what the rap gives. Okay. But Taseki can rap and sing. So I mean. But she better than her sister for sure. I like her, but she needs to sing. She sounds way better, and her looks in the video is giving the old Nikki. It's a no for me. Okay, so that is what basically people are saying about it. Now, one thing about it. Taseki knows how to sing and rap, so that is a very great talent to have. Because not a lot of people know how to do both. Now, yes, I love her singing. She has a very unique singing and a sound, and I feel like she leaned a little bit more singing. Okay? I don't know if she wants to, you know, go towards the rapping route or whatever. I don't know. But me personally, I always said that Taseki was way more talented than Krishan, because so Sean didn't start off with being this artist. You understand what I'm saying? She's seen her sister Taseki always with her making music in the studio and stuff like that. And when she went to Blue Girls Club, that's I guess that was her route. One thing you cannot take away from Taseki is she's consistent. She's very active. She does her music and videos to back it up. You understand what I'm saying? She doesn't have any type of features and she's doing everything on her own. Her YouTube um, videos is going up. Her numbers is going up. And people are acknowledging her as Taseki. All right. We know that's Krishan Rock's sister. But at the end of the day, Taseki is her own person. Chastity, this is Taseki and Krishan and them sibling, okay? This is one of the older sisters also, and she went on her stories, and she has some things to say about Taseki and some stuff. Now, this is the sister that blocked me, okay? Because I guess I stated something that she didn't like, but she's always on her stories popping it, but when somebody have opinions on her, you know, being a sister and stuff like that, things that she don't hold um, Krishan accountable for, she want to block people. But we are going to get into some some of her stories because people were sending me this so we are gonna discuss it okay her and Petey blocked me what a shame what a shame <laughs> she says 
Krishan fed me and my sons while I was booked. Never Tifa. Y'all geeking. When I'm sad, Sean prayed with me. While I was booked, Sean fans helped take care of me and my hood and my friends. And I never got a dollar from Tifa when I was booked. And when I just came home, she not talking to me because I deal with Sean um, and Tareen. Freak out of here. I just came home. I never took a side. Freak out of here. Sean and Mookie, the only ones tried to get um, Shakur out the system and they had one warrants and records tifa ain't have no record or excuse never tried to help me y'all don't know stuff freak out of here then she says y'all used to come on my live asking certain questions i know the answer to i ignored y'all and tried to keep the peace but it's f me because i won't cut sean and tareen off freak out of here freak y'all too okay so clearly she's in her feelings she says y'all got me all the way messed up stop playing with me itch put some respect on my name i could have came home and got on live and told the truth like sean asked me to and i said no to not hurt other sisters freak out of here i'm solid and you want to play with me freak y'all sean not going to mistreat me and neglect me and i just came home she answered my calls and check on me and my sons freak out of here y'all think i'm gonna say f my baby sister for any one freak out of here girl you a cloud chaser just say that then she says sean don't hold me accountable for stuff i have nothing to do with and she even stopped following me because i kept posting tifa but did she cut me off no we still talk freak out of here sean is different freak y'all meatballs you using your sister to suck you word though um you know eggplant eaters don't even know what y'all really is freak out of here i'll air it out don't get it don't get me started then she says, keep Sean's name out your mouth to me about my other sister. Shut up. She my little sister. Big sis should be being a big sis. Oh, no. Y'all eggplant riding. Y'all weird as F. Then she posted, Tifa pulled up in my hood to bring me clothes and food and spend time with me and Lex. Always by my side. So, girl, make up your mind. Like, you're weird. This was recently. Okay, I guess Chastity is doing music now. And I guess she was shooting a a video okay right here so i guess this is another reason why she's always on Krishan and never holding her accountable and don't want to get cut off mm -hmm. she says last night was my first video shoot and i appreciate everyone that came and supported me last night was everything most importantly sean helped me through it because i don't know what to do i'm a hood star trap queen but i'm gonna take this music stuff serious sean and pd my babies for real they pulled up for me and my mom and my other family that mean everything to me video and song coming soon female mookie so how do y'all feel about chastity and this flippy flappy stuff that she's doing regarding her sister Taseki because it's like girl you're doing a little bit too much then she says can't tell me nothing about Sean she been by my side and been supporting me stop playing with us family over everything I had Big Rock and Petey in the trenches with me and y'all know I keep a shooter on deck big call of duty you will see me you good we don't need no security it's the big baby it's the band baby um or whatever she was saying i don't know why she used that script it's very annoying and confusing to read that is true when chastity came out she didn't she wasn't picking no sides because she was with every sibling that was out she was taking pictures with the second she was with tessa she was with Krishan. so i mean and she was with pd so i mean to and Krishan has their own little sibling beef and i just felt like Ch chastity should have just kept it the way she was keeping it but now she don't want to um mess with um to then she said oh she was there she brought me food like girl yeah y'all siblings and stuff like that but i just felt like Krishan um was the main source like she was the famous one um and everybody not even to and them but a lot of people like pd and, and mookie and them they was always around her at one point but let's not get it messed up out of all of her siblings that has been around her and have been eggplant riding to was the only one that actually called her sister out and held her accountable for the things that she did and didn't allow certain things to do in her personal life that Krishan wanted her to do like fighting and bullying the girls on you know baddies then she ended up getting to seki jump because she didn't do what Krishan said so i just felt like chastity should need to do whatever she was doing now all of a sudden she want to be doing music and she want to do videos and stuff i swear just because Krishan is famous and she does her little music here and there or whatever that doesn't mean that 
y'all need to try to follow her footsteps because I guarantee y'all this is not going to work out, okay? They are leeching off her sister. And y'all might be like, okay, that's her sister. Krishan is going to, you know, help them. It's all right, that's fine. But I just felt like at a certain point, I, I don't think that you should be eggplant riding, okay? Like your sibling, just because of money and fame. I feel like that's a little bit weird. And I actually applaud Taseki for parting ways and not being in that toxic mess with her siblings and all that stuff they got going on. She's actually minding her business, making her music, doing her videos. She's still on baddies, making her money. And that's just what it is. And if people don't like to suck you for it, then I guess it is what it is. Not every time siblings are going to, you know, always have a good relationship. Sometimes they separate and sometimes they just keep it that way. So let me know how y'all feel about Chastity with her wishy-washy self Annalie Choppa and Blueface y'all already know since Blueface mentioned Annalie Choppa in the Barbie remix Annalie Choppa responded and guess what now they want to take it to the ring yes so Annalie Choppa called out Blueface and he wants to smoke he wants to fade okay I personally think that Blueface will knock Annalie Choppa out so Annalie Chopper says, let's box, Blueface. Who can set up celebrity boxing match in Vegas? Me and him. Hit me, ASAP. He undefeated versus woman. I don't respect the guy that put his hands on him anyway. Blueface responds with a, finally, we got one fish. Okay? And he said, let's get to it with the little purple devil emoji. Because Blueface, y'all already know he bout it. This person says, I got money on Annalie. Blue need every lashing that comes his way for real. This person says, Blueface will knock any rapper out. These celebrity boxing matches done got y'all outdated. Just pull up and throw hands. You don't need viewers. So this person like, listen, you don't need no viewers and no money. Just throw the hands. This person says, Blue winning for real. So it's a lot of people saying blue, but some people saying Emily Chopper. Better already be training. Blueface got bodies already, okay? Because y'all already know Blueface. They call him a little professional boxer. Okay, so what y'all think? This person says Blueface would piece him up. Sounds like Blueface might have to bust down Tatiana in the ring instead of on the dance floor. Okay. This person says, laugh out loud. Blueface gonna clean little buddy up. He ain't got the skill set. I mean, he could go practice. This person says, this might actually be good. I mean, a lot of people is going to tune in. I'm not going to lie to y'all, okay? Now, I seen some clips online circulating after, you know, this Blueface and Annalie Chopper boxing situation got brought up. And Annalie Chopper in the clips that I seen, it don't look like he's hitting for anything. He needs, he, he needs a lot, a lot of boxing practicing, okay? I feel like Blueface is going to eat him up. Blueface been wanting and calling people out. He called Soldier Boy out. Anybody he argue with, he calling them out because he wants to get in the ring. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it's better to do it professionally in the ring than making it street. Because I feel like once you make it street... Then you could get charges, you could get in trouble, and people watching, there's going to be a whole bunch of rival moments that, you know, bro brings um, unnecessary attention to you. So I felt like getting in the ring, putting them gloves on, getting, them, getting some money for it is definitely the better route. Let me know who y'all got down in the comments below and why. Scarlet. Okay, now y'all already know she went and she exposed her ex. She didn't really put his face out there or whatever, but she did go live. You heard him in the background. You know, she just played him. Um, Allegedly, the blog is posting up the guy. Allegedly, the ex. You know, he came out, made a statement, and she is in the comments um, basically saying cap, okay? So we are going to get into what the blog posted, okay? And we're going to get into what she said responding. The blog says, fellow who was allegedly sent packing by Scarlet for his lack of success and pleasuring her speaks out. Three pumps, I killed that stuff. Then he added Scarlet. Cut it out. Stuff is all for the net. Let's talk about that whack head. Had me thinking because your lip like that, it was going to be some fire. Stuff is dirt. Now, boy, why would you think a scar on a lip is going to make any type of oral any better? Like, boy, if you don't get your... She comments and says, this isn't the guy. This guy begs me for songs and features and continuously dub it. He is insanity. Okay, so clearly Scarlet is calling his boy Cap. Now, 
might be a liar, you know, because a lot of people was out here cloud chasing, want a little bit of fame, a little bit of clown, okay? And who knows if this is true or not because she didn't expose his face. But like I always said, whatever is in the dark always comes to the light, okay? And like I said it before in the video when she first exposed him, I felt like that was childish. I felt like that was lame, corny, clowny. I just felt like that, like she should have not did that because she would not like it if a guy did that to her. She would have been like, oh my God, I'm a victim. He exposed me. He put out my a revenge horn or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Then you want to start crying. But it's okay for y'all females to expose guys. Talking about they're a one-minute man and they, they exposing this and putting text messages out and doing... That's not what she did. But what she did wasn't even any better. You understand what I'm saying? So don't do something to somebody that you do not want done to you okay and i stand by that now if he did it and then she came out and did a tit for tat then you know it still would have been childish but you know what else can you do feel me just hilarious all right y'all already know that she was getting some backlash because a video resurfaced with her talking about mitchy matchy patchy wachy whatever when it comes to winnie Harlow's skin and the dress that she had on and she was basically saying that's a cap i never spoke about her skin she's she's lying she's this and she's that but guess what y'all already know whatever's in the dark comes to the light and i already was waiting for the footage to come out so basically hollywood unlock had put out social reacts to an old jess with the mess clip where she seemingly threw shade while talking about winnie hollow's patchy matchy jess hilaria says oh stuff they found it man this shit was funny i forgot all about that one time she matched it up so it's really, she's basically, what her response is still making it a joke and we're like, seem like she's unbothered, like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Like, what else can she say? She can't deny it because the video's there. I mean, like I said before, some things that people think are jokes regarding sensitive things that's about people aren't jokes to others. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, Winnie Harlow didn't like it. She called it out and... That's just basically what it is. I don't think they're going to fight or take it any further. But, you know, they both express how they felt. And I feel like they should squash it. Okay? But let's get into a quick recap. Taseki. Like I said, Taseki is very talented. She's out of her siblings' drama, mess, toxic stuff going on over there. And whatever else that she got going on, we don't know about it unless she puts it out. You understand what I'm saying? Clearly, she's not a clout chaser like her sister Krishan and them, okay? Because it seems like everything that they do in their life, when it comes to negativity, they post it. And then when people talk about it and they get backlash, they play a victim, especially Krishan, all right? And it is what it is. Things are going to happen. You know, siblings fight and stuff like that. They, you know, separate and it is what it is. And Chastity, the sister that decided that she wanted to come on her stories and, you know, defend Krishan and say why she still you know, involved with her sister Krishan because she helped her when she was in jail and all this other stuff and blah, 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 blah. Okay, and that's fine. And you know that you're still around and stuff like that because you're looking for those opportunities because that's what you think that you're going to get because you're her sister. Let's just, just say that. Y'all got y'all older sister China that y'all don't deal with that still was talking about some book that she's supposed to be publishing, telling all the secrets that never been published. She's out there scamming people for money, allegedly. You know, and she out there still, you know, having beef with um with, with Taseki and, you know, trying to be in their business. Like, all y'all got issues, okay? And Ellie Chopper and Blueface. Like I said before, I got Blueface. I hopefully they do have that boxing match because it's definitely going to be something that everybody is going to watch. Scarlet, her mystery ex or whatever. Like, if you're doing that to an ex, like, why would you do that? Like, I just feel like that's really corny. Then she claims and have an excuse after people was talking about it. She come back on and talking about something. Oh, it was a month old and only time I go live is when I feel unsafe. So you have somebody in your crib that you feel unsafe with and you giving him the cheeks? Stop it. Um, And then just hilarious, like I said, if they not fighting and they just, you know, it's an online thing, keep it that way because I feel like it's unnecessary for people to physically fight over stupid internet stuff or just because you're in your feelings you don't like what somebody said um but anyways make sure y'all check out my latest video okay it's about the cat williams make sure y'all run them likes up in comments and also i got another video coming after this one so make sure y'all stay tuned i love y'all